dairy barn, dairy farm. Um, we've been here before. I filmed it once, but I didn't actually really go into depth or detail of the barn. Last time it was more about the house. So it's kind of exciting because I really wanted to do a full video of this barn. It's a pretty large barn, but there's a lot of property here. Um, it's being conserved now. There's little rice fields around it. Um, it it's, it's just gorgeous. And I will take you guys over to the lookout uh, to get a good view. Yeah, there's a lot of old, neat, classic. I bet at night time this place is scary. Yes, yeah. I haven't been here at night, but just, I mean, you can look at it. It says DDA on the back. This is really cool. This is so historic. It would be. Look at all those ropes. Yeah. George Bulldogs. Yeah. It's cool. Have you come here at night at all or no? No, I want to. Yeah. I haven't seen one like this with a chain on it like in years. And especially made out of wood. So I guess they had the gates up here. I guess like Yeah, it looks like that, right on the ground. And I think they what they would that what they had was they had the cattle like the dairy cattle or Holsteins or whatever they had lined up here and they would probably walk this area and they had the machines that would milk the cows. I was the secretary of the FFA. Oh, okay. I got you. <laughs> I did Actually, dairy, I dairy judging. <laughs> I really did. I, I believe you. That's awesome. It's central Florida. You know, we have a lot of cattle farms there. So Yeah. Yeah. They'd tie them up. That's what Bring this them is in for. Here. They would tie up the cattle, okay? And then they would uh, milk them because there, there's more over there too. So they would bring them in through these, mm -hmm. like this, and then pull them into little, basically tiny little stalls, like no room whatsoever. And then this is that. The, this is where people would walk, you know, to hook everything up. That's really interesting. Now, what do you think this, like this hose is for over here? This yellow hose. Like an air it looks like an air compressor of some sort, doesn't it? Watch your head. Whew. Yeah, so it has some kind of like air compressor thing over here, apparently. I guess they would. I don't know. This it be may be. Like maybe to run equipment. Bail valve. Yeah, it could be air, and this could be, yeah, this would have been where the water, like the water hose would have been hooked up to spray it out to Probably. clean clean out the stalls. Hey, Ash, guess what? We're in luck. I found a mask for you. Yeah. Look at this right here. Thank God. I know. I'm so worried about contaminants. I'm tired of breathing in all the junk. Right. 
You want to get in the car and I'll give you a ride. For real? Yeah. You want to get in there? Okay. I can't see it in my camera. And if I'm going to do something dumb, <laughs> I want it on camera. Alright guys, so we're having fun today. This is, the, this is the last video that I'll be doing with Ashley here in Georgia. So we come back again when she comes back to Florida. And um, we're having fun with her in the park right here. Okay. All right. Hang on to it now. Alright, let me hang on to the card. I'm scared this is going to break. Me too. But if it breaks, the video may go viral. Ready? Oh, this is so gross. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> There's Ashley going for a ride. Hold on, guys. I don't want to trip. <laughs> And that's how you urbex. Oh. Oh god. Okay, you ready? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Great success. That was fun. That was pretty fun. Alright, now I'm gonna go back to my camera. <laughs> We're such nerds, but you know, sometimes you really just gotta have fun. Okay, a lot of the times you gotta have fun. Oh, he went over to the um to the lookout. Okay. So, to the lookout. We're going to the lookout. The lookout. How do I keep messing up? I just wish that I could. My shutter's here. I'm just saying my shutter's here. Like us Floridians. Well, I mean, I live in Georgia now, but you know, like yeah. we don't know alligators. Yeah, I'm not scared. I ain't a scared. We ain't scared. I ain't a scared. It is really beautiful out there, though. So, all of this property was once worked by human hands, ran by, ran by slaves for many years. It's very sad. This place has some messed up history too. Does it? It has a lot of messed up history out here. The, yeah. They were treated so, I mean, all slaves were treated poorly, but the, the first hand accounts that I've read from a woman who came over from England and married the plantation owner of the time, um, just thought it was just like an atrocity because it was the norm here you know it was like the norm here in the states at the time in the south but for england that was like you guys actually treat your you know people like this your health like this and she wrote about it and it became famous so now there's like a whole slew of like letters and stuff that she wrote she got in trouble by her husband for writing about it and sending it off to england yeah because they'd lie and say they treated them well. Yeah, there's no, there's no such thing as... No! And you treat them well. Just the fact that it's a slave. That's yeah. Cool. Alright, well, you guys want to walk through this to that one? Sure! Let's walk, walk right. Let's go. Let's get to there. <laughs> and what's going to happen is this will be the last footage when they find the cameras after getting eaten by alligators. <laughs> traveled okay guys so this was a really fun little explore it was a fun little daytime journey I'm glad I got to show the guys out here went to the old dairy barn and look at this old gorgeous rice plantation here it's so pretty but um anyway 
I can't wait to head back to Florida again and yes, get some more stuff. Yeah, and then we're, I'm hoping, well, I will be traveling actually a lot pretty soon here. So I'll be doing some really interesting, cool stuff in Maryland, Virginia. I have Ontario planned, so taking this shiz international. I mean, really, it's a cheap trip. I'll be honest with you. So uh, I've got a room just crashing on a couch, you know, doing the true going urbex thing. I'm going to Niagara Falls and we'll walk <laughs> right over the bridge to Canada. <laughs> but it's going to be fun. So stay tuned. Um, I promise I'm not going to leave you guys hanging again. I know it was a while since I posted videos, but yeah. Love you guys and thanks for sticking with me.